congratulations on season three of this show. Thank you. You uh, are a co-creator of the show. You're the showrunner of the show. I am. You're also in it. There are scenes uh, where you have uh, fights. You mm -hmm. uh, there are fires. There is uh, nudity for yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever regret once you start shooting it that you made yourself do those things? I have no one to blame but myself. Yeah. When uh, it's not just fire, I lit myself on fire. Yeah. Uh, which turns out is hot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's like the yeah, it's like yeah. the key thing everybody and, knows about fire. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. And, especially when I say, can you put like more gasoline on me? Yeah. Um, yeah, it gets really hot. Uh, and, and is it something like in in the moment when you're actually now on fire? Do you think back to the writers' room in the moment where it came up and that you didn't spike it then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you think. Yeah, yeah. There, was, there was one moment I, I was on actually on a snowmobile. I did this jump on a snowmobile into a river, and then it goes down to the river. And these, these uh, safety guys come up to me and say, "You know, the worst that's going to happen is like the snowmobile like rolls over on you, and you're pinned for like a minute." <laughs> Yeah, you know, but we'll be there. We'll be there. You can hold your breath for a minute, right? That's that is so much worse like, than no. it's the worst I thought could happen. I know. Uh, your kids. So you co-created this show uh, with your wife Sam B. Yes. Uh, who's also very talented, uh, and you guys have kids, and your kids have gotten to be in episodes. Uh, they don't play your children in the show, but they got to be uh, sort of extras. Did they enjoy it? No. My, well, my son was like a featured actor. He oh, actually, great. He plays young me. Oh, fantastic. Uh, on the show, and uh, my daughters were extras, and I cut them. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> Now that's From, that's yeah. rough. I know that's rough to begin with, but then with your son having a plum roll, that's I know. really rough. Yeah, and his paycheck is giant. <laughs> yeah, and theirs is nothing. <laughs> um, and so how did you have to? How do you tell your kids they're cut? I was like, listen, your scene was good. Yeah, it wasn't great. Sure. Um, and uh, so, but I gave them a scene. I actually gave them a speaking role in the in the next season. That was season one. I cut them. Season two, I gave them a speaking role, and they were mad at me because. Because they liked their part better in the first season. Oh no! I'm like, they... you get paid now. <laughs> you, you did it for free as an extra. But they now have taste. Paid. They have to. They I just didn't. So, yeah. They didn't care for the new scene. They... <laughs> um, you, uh, you're obviously a writer. Uh, you're an actor. You're a comedian. Yes. Uh, I don't take this the wrong way. I would not have guessed that you began in modeling, but you had a, an early <laughs> modeling career. You're suggesting that I'm an ugly child. No, uh, I'm not and you're at not, all. We're not wrong. <laughs> no. Yeah. How uh, did modeling uh, start for you? It's it's <laughs> it started like any uh, child model. Uh, my grandmother owned a bridal boutique. There you go. Perfect. And they're like, he can fit into a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so and this will, I, you actually sent some photos. This I is did. not bridal work. This is uh, no. This is my uh, my later work. Later work. Uh, so this is pretty. I mean, this is rad, and that's the word we use then to that's describe right. that look. That's right. Uh, so what what is the brand here that you're? Uh, I don't leather yeah. pants. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> um, I have to, well, there's a story because they, show this one. Yeah, this yeah. one is this fantastic. One. I was saying, yes. and that's the. I mean, that's fantastic. So, so, well, it's not fantastic because he was not a great Michael Jackson impersonator. Okay. And I was really mad that I had to just sit on the bench and snap. Interesting. Because I could do the moonwalk way better than him. And gotcha. I, and I didn't understand at the time uh -huh. as a child that maybe me playing Michael Jackson's probably not the best casting choice. Yeah. <laughs> that if you were opening a catalog and, uh, and they went with you instead of uh, the other kid. Well, funny story. I meet this kid again on a casting call, a go I yeah. guess you could. <laughs> And go see That's a little modeling <laughs> yeah, for yeah. you. Uh, so I meet him again, uh, and we're both up for uh, this uh, uh, department store shoot. Uh, it's called Robinson's, which is like the gimbals of Canada. And, uh, and we were up for the role of Mr. T for a Halloween shoot. And guess who got it? You booked Mr. I T? I booked Mr. Oh T. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, no, uh... don't, don't clap for that. Yeah. I shouldn't have booked Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, it was a short sleeve outfit, and they didn't give me a shirt to wear. So it was just a black mask with white arms. That is, uh... And a sign that said I mean, Mr. T on the plastic outfit. That is rough. That really speaks uh, volumes about how bad this guy was at impressions. <laughs> it was... He didn't even have to talk. Yeah, but he uh, yeah. he's that's who I pity. I pity I, him. Pity yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. I pity him. Uh, yeah. thanks for being here. Congrats hey, on the show. Always a pleasure to see you, man. Jason Jones, the detour, airs Tuesday nights on TBS.